tell us about your responsibilities? Um, <clears throat> I'm the head of the Advanced Light Microscopy Unit in the Center for Genomic Regulation in Barcelona. So this means I'm a head of a core facility. We offer access to basically the whole range of high end light microscopy equipment to the researchers in the institute, to neighboring institutes or to also to, to outside researchers um, and to train the users and help them with their applications. So you are a very experienced microscopist and using super resolution techniques right now. What was it like to see the first super resolution image? For me it was, so the first one I saw really on a system, uh, it was an eye opener, it was something I really wanted to see actually, specifically for that. Um, because it was not just structures that got smaller, but it was, uh, I was looking at a sample that I specifically had high hopes of seeing another layer of complexity and that actually was there, it was, it was a very strange sample, a marine uh, organism, single cellular organism that has a very complex microtubule cytoskeleton that where you could more or less guess the complexity at the maximal resolution of a confocal microscope and it was quite interesting to actually see another layer of complexity revealed when we put it on the, one of the early types of STET. Mm -hmm. So what super resolution techniques are you using? Uh, in the lab we are using um, CW STET, so continuous wave STET and ground state depletion imaging. Uh, on two dedicated systems. So how do innovations such as 3D super resolution help you to pursue new approaches? What it does is on the systems that we have we also notice limitations and I think one has to be very realistic about the limitations and the enormous improvement that one could have on the existing systems in lateral resolution where sometimes completely nullified or neutralized by uh, the complexity in 3D. So dense samples, very complex 3D topologies are actually refractory to lateral super resolution alone and therefore using now also the, the third dimension really improved the results. It's a bit like comparing wide field and confocal imaging. Confocal imaging did exactly the same thing. It reduced the information to the relevant part of the focal plane and doing the same with super resolution gives more or less similar effects. You have more clarity in your, in your image. So what are the major challenges using super resolution, resolution techniques? That nothing comes for free. It's for all of them the light budget or the amount of repetition you have to, to do is a limiting factor. And this, all have all the Super resolution methods that are currently available have strengths and weaknesses, uh, so they, one can rather see them as complementary and also different levels of, of resolution. But the problem is all of all of super resolution is, in this case, achieved by addition of light, um, and that is at the moment the, the biggest uh, limitation. Dyes or changing of switchable dyes may be really be the future because everything in the end comes down to contrast and switchable dyes may really help in this, but this is a very actively developing field. So how do you rate the future significance of super-resolution microscopy in life science? I think it will become with better and better commercial systems actually, that is, that is the key, it is very similar to what happened in the confocal world. <coughs> it will be more and more seen as a standard. I already start to realize that I start to perceive confocal images um, as a bit unsharp and therefore the, the, the view just changes. It, you cannot necessarily say that you see or that it would be impossible to do similar research not on that but the fact is we do see, we, we want to see the things at the maximum resolution that's why we use high NA objectives and highly corrected objectives. We want to have the best quality. When it is achievable it normally also and, and properly implemented it is being used. Um, and it does also help maybe to, to change the ideas because if one now looks at uh, diffraction limited structures that one then super resolves, one may not, the dot just may get smaller, but even that in the whole context of the image, it changes your perception of something because we are somehow influenced by what we are seeing and therefore seeing it better helps even if it is not 
necessarily improving the answer per se, it, it actually it, it, it sharpens your perception of the structure. Mm -hmm. So my last question, what are your experiences with Leica Microsystems as collaboration partner? Over many years they have been extremely positive on different projects in different locations. I, I find the, the contact very um, very fruitful for both sides, I think, and uh, I've, I've, I'm very positive about it. Oh, thank you very much.